Does the new VHS go beyond the previous installments? Let's find out. What's up, Misfits and Metalheads, and welcome to another episode of The Cutting Room Floor. We are from the band Cut Like This. I am Thorn Black. I'm Rose Blood. And today, we're talking about the new installment into the VHS horror franchise, VHS Beyond. <laughs> but first, so we have music right here, YouTube, Spotify, Bandcamp, Hook us up, give us some views, give us some loves, leave us some comments for music videos on this channel right here. Now let's get to it. This mm. is the newest installation into the VHS uh, franchise that just came out to Shudder. Uh, was, it, was it this past week? It's super yeah. fresh. It hasn't been out like even a full week, I don't think yet. So, Rose, why don't we get into it and you tell them a little bit about this one. All right, well, for those of you who, I don't know what happened to you, what rock you fell under, that you have missed the VHS series, I'm very happy to introduce you to it. Here we are. VHS is a series of horror anthology films, often with amazing high-level directors and stuff, um, all experimenting in the VHS style medium mm -hmm. and usually around um, each installment of the VHS series has been around a theme and it's usually you know people find these you know their uh, combination of like found footage and stuff like that and um, it's got a really cool really grungy aesthetic which found footage is perfect for you know that style yep, of film sure makes things feel very immediate and very real and these guys are masters of putting this kind of stuff together and let me tell you something guys you're in for a treat with this one you really are uh this one it has uh six films uh and six directors uh we've got kate siegel um she directs uh stowaway and uh she's actually an actress that you might be familiar with she was in the ha the tv series from um that was on netflix the haunting of hill house she was also in that horror movie hush where she's like uh she plays she's somebody who's like deaf and mute oh that's yes yeah. that's yeah like, yeah it was really good it was yeah, really good yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. like okay, scary I got you. yeah she was great mm -hmm. she was great and she really carried that film um and uh then we've got justin long and his brother christian long uh justin long you know him. That's the comedy you guy, You love right? him. He's an actor. No, no. He's the actor, Justin Long. He's been there. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's he does, been a, lot he does a lot of comedy stuff. He does a lot of comedy stuff. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah. You're right. You're right. I, 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 he has stepped very much into the horror scene with films such as Tusk. Uh, he was also in uh, blah, 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 Jeepers Creepers. Uh, he's mm -hmm. also in... Um, He's been in a bunch. He's been on a bunch of horror yeah, movies. He's in Barbarian, actually. Place. Remember, he was a total bastard. Yeah, he's all over the he's place. great yeah, at being yeah. a total like bastard. Him. Anyway, so him and his brother, who was just like him, um, <laughs> uh, directed the absolutely insane short film Fur Babies. Yo, this that that one that one is that oh, one that one might be the most messed up one that makes, in this one. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Yeah. After him being in Tusk. Yeah, yeah, it does make a lot of sense, doesn't like, it? Doesn't it? I just, didn't realize he was the one that directed that, direction. but it was like, yep. that makes a lot of sense um, now. And then yeah. we've got uh, the, 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 the very first one um, uh, is Stork, and that one's directed by Jordan Downey. Uh, he directed a film that we also saw on Shudder called Headhunter, about that dude that really, he was hunting monsters. He's a medieval dude hunting Mid monsters in the hills. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah He's okay. hunting monsters and he has like a whole wall of like, you know, all these yeah. different monster heads of different monsters that Yeah, he's so instead of like people having like deer trophy heads Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He just, just got monster, monster heads. heads. It was fantastic. All of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was, it was really cool. good. Really, was really cool. good effects and really good effects in this one as well in Stork. Um, very much had gave me uh, like those like uh, Evil Dead kind of vibes mm -hmm. with uh, some of the zombies in that one too. It's a really really good one. Um, uh, let's see, and uh, yeah, he was also actually apparently he was an intern for Wes Craven, so he mm -hmm. learned from one of the freaking absolute masters, and he has gone on to do some really. Oh, he also did Thanks Killing, <laughs> and the sequel. Um, yeah, oh, that was actually man. his breakout film. 
That was actually his breakout film. <laughs> Pretty crazy. That's amazing. Um, and we've also got somebody who I haven't seen before, but who I look forward to seeing more films from. Uh, Virat Paul, an Indian director. Um, he is known for a film called The Night of the Bride. He's directed a lot of other Indian films. And he directs an absolutely fabulous Bollywood-themed horror short called Dream Girl. It's really fucking good, guys. It's, it was, it's really good. Um... I really enjoyed that. So the overall, what kind of uh, pieces this this story together as it's moving forward? Because, uh, like we said, it's a bunch of short films. Yes. So the way that this is all pieced together is a Reddit editor, Redditor. Yes, uh, Redditor. Yeah, uh, that's exactly uh, what it is. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's exactly what, what they're called. Is that what it's called? Yeah, that's yeah. what they're called. I mean, I'm kind of new to Reddit. No, you were. You're, I'm a little new to Reddit, so. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you know. No, he is a Redditor, and he's very much <laughs> in the style of. Uh, he reminds me of the style of of of, of uh, that guy that used to, um, that old MTV guy. Oh, uh, damn! I can't remember his name. Not the one that did 120 minutes, the other guy. Oh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Anyway, so anyway he's like a hipster Redditor guy. A you know? Reddit editor, a Redditor, buys a bunch of old VHS videos and he starts watching them. And then that is kind of what is piecing the in between of uh, a lot of these stories together. Yes. He bought a big and specifically, box, old VHS tapes, and a whole bunch of crazy stuff is on them. And he's like, uh. <laughs> yeah, specifically, what he, his his whole you know his storyline kind of cuts in throughout the um, mm -hmm. the film and stuff like that because um, he's doing like this like you know doc documentary on alien abduction and whether aliens are real or not. He even later on has like guests that are like special effects you know uh, people that are really good at special effects and he has them on and he interviews them to see if these videos that he's showing them. Um, if they think that, you know, the, which are the stories that we're watching, if those are real or if that's something that they could possibly do with visual effects and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So they're, so it's actually kind of, it's very meta, you know what yeah. I mean? As, as they're, they're watching this stuff and they're trying to like analyze it and break they're it like, down. Is that real? And is that getting, effects? slowly getting more and more disturbed by the videos mm -hmm. that they're watching, just like you should be because these things are intense. These are really, and, really. I mean, as as you would expect from VHS. I gotta this say, this series is like that. This VHS starts off way stronger than any VHS. In my opinion, this is one of the strongest starts to a VHS movie. Like when when they get going, it's just it's like here you are, mm -hmm. and. I was very pleasantly surprised for them to start off as strongly as they did. I was yep. like, oh, I'm in and paying attention. I'll put mm -hmm. the phone down, put everything to the side. Like, what's happening right now? Like, yes, more of that, please. And then they gave me more, more of that, please. actually. They gave more me please. more of that, you know? <laughs> yeah. That, that, that first story, honestly, I could have had a whole movie about the first story. Granted, oh, yeah. it was first well done great. and they wrapped it up. Really you know, good. like you know what happens at the end, mm -hmm. which is great because I, I like con I like short stories that also have a conclusive ending. Yeah. You know, um, I'm not as big of a fan of open ended kind of interpretation. Yeah, kind. yeah, that one, sometimes, that one does that one does you know, feel the most complete because it has like a very much like a a, a beginning, middle, and an end, and it feels mm -hmm. like a, a, a you just like fast forward through a film watching it and and it's you cannot keep your eyes off the screen yeah it's really well done that first very short was so good i was like scary. this is over too quickly like I, yeah, I, I, I i'm not more. even saying it's short it just I went wanted more, by so for sure, fast for sure i was so in to that first uh i was gonna call it skip you don't call it a skip when it's yeah. not a comedy show yeah. but you know what i mean the first little short story um yeah uh, they did a very good job with just I like the whole theme about, yeah. like, it's a VHS tape, so some of the film doesn't look, like, super high quality, mm -hmm. but because of that, some of what they're doing with either practical or visual effects just is easier to mask, is easier to blend in, because mm -hmm. these are supposed to be a lot of, like, found footage, old kind of tapes. Yeah. Not that everything the, the first... is, is old, because some of them, and they wrote it into the story on why the cameras are better, mm -hmm. which I like very yes. much, but some of them did have... Uh, very high quality cameras also yeah. but it was like but there's it, actually an explanation yeah, there's in an story, explanation in story you know? and I'm like this makes sense why this film is so much clearer and better in quality than, than some, like of the some of the ones. other stories you know it's just explained and it just works really well and then you still have some of the classic 
grimy kind of VHS tapes as well in there. And I don't know, it, it just works for me. I, I really like uh, a lot of short story kind of uh, yeah, movies yeah. when they're done Anthologies, well. yeah. Anthologies, especially if they're able to connect some of the stories. Yeah, and, I, like, I like a connected anthology, you know, for and, sure. And like, granted... Even if it's just a small connection. Yeah, But this yeah. one this one expertly kind of like weaves in and out into... Uh, um, it's called Abduction Adduction, by the way, the, um, the Redditor thing that kind of is the glue mm -hmm. that holds all of this stuff together and he kind of like pops up throughout and yeah. stuff um so you know it makes sense that his cameras are going to be nicer cameras because he's shooting a documentary it makes perfect sense um stork has you know uh body cam footage you know uh it's it follows a squad of you know of kind of like this militia cop kind of organization whatever so they have like pretty decent cameras too because they're they're body cams, mm -hmm. you know. Um, but it moves like a body cam, so it, it feels good. It makes you, sense. You get, Everything makes sense. You get you get uh, you get moments of where it kind of feels like a first person shooter video game kind. Yeah, of. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah. It's good. In, in it's got one, definite video but, game vibes. But it's not like just like overly saturated and dumb. When it's done, it's just it's. Like, I want it, and it's fun, and then they cut away from it. So it's not, like, the entire time, mm -hmm. but they do, like, cut back a couple of times. And it just adds to the action oh, and yeah. the intensity of what's going on yeah. when all of a sudden it goes from, like, you're seeing a guy to you're on his body cam, and then somebody jumps at the person, but it feels like they're jumping at you because now we're on body cam. Yep. And then, yep. You know what I mean? Good stuff. Yep. Let's keep it moving because we got couple more little short films in here uh we've got dream girl which is like i said that was directed by virat paul um the indian director this is um a lot of it is taking place on the set of a bollywood music video and yes you do get to see bollywood dancing and it's super well done it's I mean, really it's good you can tell this guy has anything if they're not gonna do at least one oh, song oh yeah dance, you know? oh yeah you have to but have at least like, one you, you you can tell this guy has shot this kind of stuff before you know it's very much it feels very authentic it feels very you know it feels very authentic because it's somebody f from india you know what i mean it, it, it's great it's great you could tell he put care into it uh he put some love into it mm -hmm. really cool interesting story mm -hmm. and um this one uh you know follows uh, the reason why it makes sense why they would have cameras because they are paparazzi so and they're you know um they're 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 sneaking on to like this music video set to mm -hmm. try to get an exclusive right so that's the that's the theme we're not gonna tell you anything else yep, let's get just check it out on that one. really cool, cool. One. that one's really cool yeah. guys it's really good uh the third one is live and let dive and this one is really really cool also mm -hmm. this one is very very cool because it features a skydiving team yeah and yeah. just Think about the possibilities of that. Just think and about skydiving and horror movies. Think about, about skydiving sky and how it could interact. What could happen what with skydiving What if you were skydiving and you encountered aliens? Oh, it would be pretty freaking bad, wouldn't it? And yep, so, it's, it's great. Yeah. Just just take my word for it. It's yep. great. Skydiving and aliens. We're going to move on. The next one. This is Justin Long and his brother Christian Long. Yo. This is fur babies. Yeah, this is this is nuts, man. This one is nuts. This one is the grindhouse creepy nasty. Oh, this is just, ooh, ooh, it's bonkers. That was off the wall. You just have to see it to understand. <laughs> we don't want to. We don't want to spoil nothing for you. And um, the last like film we um, is uh, Stowaway. Um, this one is. Uh, uh, Do documentary style also this woman is investigating um you know alien abductions in the mojave desert mm -hmm. and uh things go or, or, south right. yes. things go south in a way that oh man it's bad it's bad so oh, this one this what? one's cool because you get to see you get to see um well i'm not gonna tell you what yeah. you get to see you're just gonna have yeah. to find out by watching all of that being said, the that's our quick... alien stuff is, is alien. Yeah. And get, yeah. Like, uh, that's our quick overview. We don't want to. We don't want to mess that I, up I, for I, you. I don't want to get we, too, we too want you, into We want you guys. We try stories. to avoid spoilers. These are just yeah. like the very basics of what this these is the things basics are. Of what you're going to see in the trailers, and tell we're not us, giving you more to tell, tell us what you think so of this installment, this latest thing of Beyond, and 
I think we gotta go to a, to a rating now. We gotta, go, we to gotta go to a rating. So if you haven't, if you're new to us, we rate things via chainsaw, with five being chef's kiss, mm -hmm. a beautiful splatter fest of incredible gory goodness, and one being a very puny low level. Um, That's like a little not, tiny. Not, not even so bad. It's good. So bad. It's bad. The tiny chainsaw. Yeah, maybe, a, maybe the 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 teeth on it aren't like sharp. Yeah, the, the teeth are dull on maybe, that chainsaw. Maybe there's no gas it's, in it. Yeah, I don't know. It's got no belt on it. Yeah. It's just like, it's like running. Mm. It's like maybe yeah. I'll just get hedge clippers. You know. So. Yeah, this head, this, this chainsaw ain't gonna do nothing. All right. So, Thorn Black, drum roll, please. <laughs> How many chainsaws would you give to VHS Beyond? I am going to give VHS Beyond a four and a half chainsaws. Ooh, sucky now. I gotta say, for me personally, this is the best VHS movie in the series as of right now. This okay, one just, okay. it came in and it kicked the front door wide open just... <laughs> You know, it's right. like, yeah, four and a half for me. Mm -hmm. Rose, what would you rate this new VHS Beyond? I am going to give it five chainsaws. <laughs> yes, that's right. I'm giving it five chainsaws. I think this is uh, honestly one of the, uh, one of the it's, it's very high up there. I might have a little more of a spot in my heart just for the first one just because it was it was a great entry it was it it, it came onto the scene mm -hmm. and it really kicked in the door for me the first one way was, in the 4-4 you it, know it, what it i mean did, it did you know? it did it, when the first it came one out, was, it was exactly just, my style of yeah. like type of it was like really good horror and combat it was and really fighting. really good it, that, it was exactly it, it was, the type of stuff that i love you know, like a hundred percent exact not that i didn't like the other ones because i did it's, but, it's you know, spawned, it spawned many many imitations um i think uh just it was kind of kind of groundbreaking um as far as horror anthologies went and it and and so i i have to give it just a little bit more over this because it was it was new and you know it's like it it, it was what ushered in and made this one possible if it, the first one hadn't been such a huge hit it wouldn't ever have gotten as far up to beyond you know what i mean so um but I got confused I got, and lost for a second. I got I don't know why. I was like, I thought, I'm saying without the first VHS, this one wouldn't exist. Well, it would, without I mean, it being so well done. You know what I mean? It was just it was just Of course, but I don't know what that has to do with the review we're doing. No, right no, no. Now. What I'm saying I'm is, is as far as my standing of mm -hmm. like the order of them, mm -hmm. because that was it was so groundbreaking. The first it, one? Yes, the first one. The first VHS. So okay. So as far as my, in, in, in my ranking of the VHS films mm -hmm. in, in total, this one is a little bit lower just because that first one was, you know? Oh. That's what I'm saying. Okay. okay. I got confused. It's okay. And now, now I'm back. Now, now he's back. He's back. He's yeah. back. He's snapped back. I, I, I was like, wait, what? It's okay. Okay. It's I'm okay. back. So, and, and for me... I still stand by what I said. This is my favorite of the VHS. This, this one is really strong, though. Like, this is like of uh, since the first ones. I think uh, I liked the stories just front to back. Yeah. More. Yeah. Than I have any other ones, which is why this is at the top. Yeah. Not that I didn't like you. You know what I'm saying? I'm not no, saying that I, I don't I, like I do. some of the other stories, but the. The, the amount of how much I liked each story in this movie is more than I liked each individual story in the other movies. Yep, yep. So, yeah. For I, me, I think for this, me, one, this, this one above and beyond. Beyond? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we're such dorks. All right. Uh, All right. It, it really did go above and beyond. I can't help um, it. All right. So, anyway. Let's wrap it up. <laughs> we're wrapping this up. <laughs> We are from the band Cut Like This. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow. Follow us on Bandcamp. You can buy some merch for us there. We are working on getting our store together and new merch so you can finally purchase something. We have a couple of people that have been able to buy some things by contacting us here and there. Or but buy at our last live show, which we had some of those things and to the they masses, sold so fast. Very soon to the masses, but we're soon. working on all the technologies. And, and if you're not already on our mailing list, you better jump on that mailing list. Not only... Will you get 
all of the updates first before anybody else, but you will also get first dibs on that new delicious merch. First chance to get a pre-order. For, you can be the first in line to get the coolest stuff that we, our twisted little weird minds, can think of creating. Because it's always going out to the mailing list first. It's all going Whatever we're selling, so, always getting So this first is a good time. If you haven't already, join that mailing list. Get a free MP3. Join the club of misfits and metalheads and mm -hmm. spooky weirdos that love horror movies and love horror music. And join your new spooky besties and watch some cool movies with us and have fun with us. Until next time, we are hot.